Hey happy viewers, this video is about creating some vertical interest in your garden using plants and climbers that can be easily trained onto a trellis. We will be planting a camellia in a container and take you through a few other pots that are planted with different climbers a month ago. For this project, we'll be using a large terracotta pot that is glazed on the outside. Close to the top of the pot, there is a beautiful garland design which is one of my absolute favourites. The drainage hole on the inside is a decent sized one, so we'll not be worrying about drilling extra holes for drainage. This pot is about 50cm high and 40cm in diameter. Firstly, we are adding slightly grey soil. This will enable extra drainage. It is always a good idea to do so for containers, especially when you're using a larger one. This can be a regular garden soil mixed with tiny rocks. The next layer is the potting mix, adding it about 3 fourths of the total size of the pot. For plants like camellia, it's important to add controlled release fertilizer while preparing the soil for planting. This fertilizer is for slightly acid loving flowering plants and is ideal for camellia which prefers a pH between 6 and 6.5. We are adding about 6 tablespoons and slightly working it into the soil. While planting in containers, it's important to note if the plant that you've selected is specially developed for pots and containers. So this is a Camellia William Bull which comes in a beautiful guava pink color. So this one is developed for pots and can be trained into any shape and size as you wish. So it is Camellia japonica, hoping that's the right pronunciation. So let's get this planted. The roots have to be teased a bit here because they've started to take the shape of the container. It's important to disturb this root memory else they'll continue to grow in the same pattern. I'm filling it up again with the required amount of soil in the top. Next step is to insert a contralis and train the plant onto this as it grows. Gently insert the contralis. We don't want to accidentally break off a branch. That would give me a heartache. We have used this type of trellis for many lightweight climbers, which I'll be showing you shortly. But this is perhaps the first time we're using it for a camellia, so it'll be interesting to watch the progress. Ensure the trellis is inserted into the soil and a stable. We don't want a wobbly trellis. We prefer to mulch our containers as it provides a good insulation in extreme conditions and is good for moisture retention. Here we have used black pine mulch. We use black pine mulch for uh, aesthetic purposes but uh, when it comes to edibles we use sugarcane mulch as you can see in the strawberries next to the container It's important to water the plants after planting. So after watering, let's take a tour of other climbers that we have planted earlier. This one is Hibertia scandens, which I have planted in this container a month back. It seems to love this location. So this is a full sun position. This will have bright yellow flowers, single flowers, and we can see the buds have started to come. So really excited for this one. The next one is Pandoria. I've planted two types of Pandoria in this. One is Pandoria rosy bell and uh, the flower that is in bloom is a rosy bell one. The other one is Pandoria bower of beauty. It has a lighter pink color flower with a darker pink throat. So this has not set any buds yet. So hopefully uh, they set some soon. Isn't it a beautiful color? 
In this I have planted Hardenbergia Happy Wanderer and Pandoria Wonga Gold. Pandoria Wonga Gold you can see it has put a lot of fresh growth and it's loaded with buds. I have not seen a Pandoria Wonga Gold in person so I'm really really eager to see when it blooms. And uh, as you can see down Hardenbergia has started to bloom. It is a winter bloomer and blooms only in winter to early spring. I hope this video was useful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There are lots of interesting projects coming soon. Thank you.